girls, go, 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 go. We girls gonna take control. You boys better know, no, no. We girls gonna run this show. Go, girls, go, 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 go. go. We girls gonna take control. Hey, everyone, and welcome to my February favourite. I haven't actually got a lot this month and I'm still doing the like little category thing so like makeup, clothing, yada yada, wherever um, kind of thing. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get started and try and keep this video as short as possible because, um, well, I keep doing like really really long uh, favourites videos so yeah. So the first thing for makeup that I've got that is a favourite this month is the only high-end thing that I've got and um, I'd love to buy high-end makeup but I don't earn enough to buy high-end makeup um, I'm more of a drugstore makeup kind of girl anyway and um, I tend to buy uh, what I like to call high-end drugstore makeup I'll go into it in a minute but the only high end thing I have is this matte lipstick and I actually won this in a giveaway and I can't open it um, it's in kind of sexy and my camera doesn't auto focus so I don't know if you'll see that this is what it looks like and it's, it's like a nice corally colour and I don't tend to wear coral a lot because I don't think it looks very nice on me, but this is a really nice Next one lipstick. is actually been my favourite lip gloss and it's been my go-to lip gloss this month and that is the Vivo Lacquer Shine Lip Gloss in Spiritual, it's just a nude colour. And the brushes on these are awesome because they're like really, really precise. And they are so pigmented, you don't even need to wear a lipstick on underneath them, but you can if you want to, but they are really, really nice. And they don't smell too bad. The next <laughs> one I have is Juicy, and this is like a bright corally pink, and this is from NUA. Really, really nice colour. Um, very smooth. Then mm -hmm. I have two eyeshadow palettes and they're both from MUA. The first one is the Undress palette. I have been after this thing for absolutely ages. And every time I've been into my super drug, they either haven't had it or they've had it and I've had like no money to go and get it and it's just like, ah. But um, yeah, I won this one in the same giveaway that I won the MAC thing in. And I um, love the colours, absolutely love the colours. And I want the Undress Me Too palette, but I can't get it. <laughs> but really really amazing colours I've only used this once and I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial with this but it's an awesome colours and the second palette I have absolutely used this quite a lot because, as you can probably tell because it is really mucky um, these are the colours this is the Glamour Night palette and I've already hit pan on one of the eyeshadows because I keep using it quite a lot but really really nice colour. Really. Next I have nail polish from Collection and this is their Hot Lux nail polish in Angel Wings and it's kind of like a bluey silvery grey <laughs> um, really nice that thing. we can't normally get this brand here because it's a US brand and this is a CoverGirl True Sat True Shine lipstick in coral shine. Really, really nice shimmery color, coral color. Just like this. Love the packaging on this because it's so nice and simple, and you can see the cool through the top. Then of it as well. I have one of these, and this is a sleek sheer cover lipstick in silk. And this is like a really, really nice bronzy kind of color. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. But it's really, really, really nice colour. And again, I don't tend to buy a lot of sleek because this is what I call a high end um, drugstore makeup kind of thing. Because um, their products can cost, well, to me, they cost a bit. But, um, but they do some really Then really I good have a Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm in Lust. And this is like a brownie kind of colour. It's actually really, really nice, um, and I really like these ones, and I seriously need to get more. Finally, for makeup, I have a lip gloss here from Miss 
Barty and this is in Champagne. It smells like champagne as well and I don't drink champagne. And this is the colour. I don't drink champagne but it smells like champagne. It actually smells quite nice so. Okay, so for skincare, um, I mainly have things from Nivea. Um, but then I have a Dead Sea thing as well. The first thing from Nivea that I've got is the Daily Essentials 2-in-1 Cleanser and Toner. And this stuff is absolutely amazing. It leaves your skin feeling refreshed and moisturised and woken up. And it's just really, really awesome. And it's really good for your skin as well because it's got vitamin E and Hydra IQ in it. And that is actually for normal combination skin. I have dry and sensitive skin but it still works my skin tone and I have a refreshing toner for days when I don't use the cleanser and toner and um, this really leaves your skin feeling refreshed and moisturised and just woken up again like the uh, cleanser and toner and then this is for dry and sensitive skin and this is the gentle cleansing cream wash um, and this has got natural almond oil and hydra IQ in it and this stuff is absolutely amazing. It just leaves your skin feeling moisturised after you use it. I'm really refreshed and um, it actually leaves your skin feeling really soft as well so that's it's really really nice. And then the next thing I have is this Dead Sea Beauty Kit and this is actually a box with three samples in it. There's the Ideal and the Nourishing Night Cream in it and the Day Cream. The only two things I've used out of here are the eye gel and the night cream. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I, my skin has never felt better when I wake up in the morning. And this stuff, my the skin around my eyes has never been better either. So, amazing. Instead of a favourite song this month, I have two favourite soundtracks. One of them I haven't got because it's my brother's and he won't let me borrow the CD just so I can show you guys. And that is the Hobbit soundtrack. I always find myself like humming along <laughs> to the tracks off of that. It is absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen the Hobbit, see it. It is awesome despite it has had quite a few critical like really um I'm going to say petty reviews because it's not what people thought it was going to be but so what, I love it <laughs> and that's my opinion and um, the next soundtrack I have is the Les Miserables soundtrack um, love this soundtrack, haven't seen the film I really want to see the film, I was just like Arr! but absolutely love this soundtrack and no matter what people say, Russell Crowe can sing and finally I have candles and jewellery and the three candles I have aren't really candles, the kind of the things that you have been you plug it into the wall or something and you sit it on top and it melts or something. And um, these are all like Yankee candle things. This one's in soft cotton. It smells gorgeous and this is just what it looks like. It looks like a little jam tart. <laughs> and this one's in sweet pea. Gorgeous. And this one is in Moonlit Ocean. Gorgeous. I absolutely love the smell of them. The only problem with them is the big candles are like really expensive. And then finally for jewellery, uh, as you guys all know, I am completely obsessed with owls. So <laughs> I found some more earrings. And these are little dangly owl earrings. Absolutely amazing, love them to bits, and I can't stop wearing them. So yeah. Okay, so that's it for my favourites. I don't have any YouTuber favourites this month, um, but I am gonna give a little shout out to uh, I think it's Sarah Hammond, I believe. Yeah, um, she recently started a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna link her below. So go and check her channel out. Um, and keep your eyes out for more videos from me and more fun creative videos instead of like really horrible ranty videos like I did last time. So yeah, I'll see you all soon. Bye!